Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time for Taurus? All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Taurus. Taurus, please for Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, we got Mature Man, first card out. So this could be um, an older masculine energy. It could be um, a boss, a friend, a parent. Okay, we got High Honor. Hmm. Number five and number 25. So high honor is typically a card about um, someone in high position. Let's see. I'm new to this deck, so I still like to look at the, the keywords. Trophies, medals, honors, success, promotion, graduating with honors, someone on their way up socially or professionally, Anything high or tall. So some sort of achievement. And again, I keep getting these messages for Taurus. There's some sort of situation I feel financial or maybe career-wise that is wrapped up in love for some of you. It's like they go hand in hand. So there's some sort of successful venture um, this could be somebody you work with. This could be um, someone that you look up to. This could be somebody coming to give you some sort of an opportunity or someone that you meet at work or something like that. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, mature woman. Just curious to see what was under there. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm using the vice versa tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? This could also be um, a card about meeting someone or being in a connection with someone that's older than you, Taurus. Spirit, what else do we need to know for Taurus? So let's cut the deck. Ooh, the tower. Okay, so we have in the recent past the Eight of Swords. In your energy, we have the Strength card with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, present energy. We have the Five of Cups with the King of Swords. King, no, Queen of Swords. And their energy, let me move these over so we have some room. We have Queen of Wands, the Death card, Scorpio energy. And then in the near future, we have the Ten of Swords reverse okay we got leo and scorpio energies here air earth fire i think the future is all about this near future is about moving forward from some sort of an ending probably an ending that your person initiated or that your person maybe whatever ending Excuse me, they're experiencing in their own life whatever cycle's wrapping up in their own life, it's affecting your connection. I feel like someone wants to discuss the past here with the Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords. There could be regret, disappointment with the Five of Cups. Actually, let me just put these next to each other. Regret, disappointment with the Five of Cups here. And wanting to discuss this. Um, maybe this is someone also having healthy boundaries with the Queen of Swords. We'll see when we clarify. Let's start with the Eight of Swords in the recent past. This is um, a card about kind of overthinking, mental, uh, feeling mentally trapped or bound, not able to see a way out of your situation. So let's see. Spirit, what is this Eight of Swords about here for Taurus? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, we have the Hangman. So someone's feeling a bit stuck here for sure in the recent past. 
Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. The Hermit. Virgo energy. A lot of thinking here with the Hangman and the Hermit. This is mental. This is someone thinking about um, their next steps. Seeking answers. Seeing things in a different angle with the Hangman. So doing a lot of reflecting here, I feel, is helping someone see a situation differently. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. What do we need to know about this Eight of Swords? Page of Wands reversed. So someone here is is hesitating, um, perhaps due to fear. Perhaps maybe they don't have, you know, lacking courage here. Maybe there's no... Um, no steps that can be taken at this time. On the top of the deck here, or the bottom of the deck, I guess you could say, is the Fool. And then on the other side, we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like this could have something to do with love here. There's um, hesitation here. A lot of thinking. Not a lot of doing, though. This is, this is all uh, kind of just thinking, planning. Trying to figure out, you know, what to do next, where to go to, or how to deal with a, a problem or situation. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. Tell me about the Hermit. What's this Hermit about? Some of you, I got the message that for a small number of you, you've self-isolated. Five of Pentacles. So this could be um, financial difficulty. This could be something to do with um, feeling like something is missing in your life, like you're struggling here with the Five of Pentacles. Maybe, again, I feel like some of you could be feeling, you know, this this Five, can, five of Pentacles is like being out in the cold, away from someone or, you know, kind of outside. So with the Hermit, I feel like someone feels very far away. Or um, perhaps is withdrawn here. Maybe feels disconnected. Because when I have the Virgo card, when I have the Hermit card, um, this is someone that's not really communicating. They're just doing a lot of thinking and planning here. So let's see. We have the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here in the present position? This is what's currently happening when it comes to love here. Why is the Five of Cups What's this about? Obviously, it's about the past. Okay, so the Four of Wands. Some sort of um, situation at home. Could be a marriage. Could be a partnership. This is about stability. Okay, and they have the Ace of Cups. I just wanted to, like, fall out. Reverse. So, something here happened in a connection. There's regrets in a connection. Regarding a connection. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Okay, what's this? I think this is Justice Reverse. Yep, Justice Reverse, Libra Energy. Yeah, something here was not right. There could have even been a divorce for some of you, or just something that wasn't fair to you, or uh, m maybe didn't feel fair. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Maybe this started off as a very stable situation, and then... There was some sort of disappointment here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? High Priestess. Interesting. I have the High Priestess, the Hermit, the Hangman, the Queen of Cups that wanted to come out. This is intuition. This is your, your, in, your gut instinct, your inner voice calling to you. Also, the Queen of Swords with the High Priestess is almost making me think of someone trying to get to the bottom of a secret or a mystery. Opening up the lines of communication. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords reverse. So, getting to the bottom of either a lack of communication or deception. Something might have been unclear, just not out in the open, not spoken about. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Something unhealthy, toxic, something difficult. When it came to a connection here, there was some sort of unhealthy attachment or some sort of uh, situation that 
led you down the wrong path, you or your person. We could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Libra here. I feel like this got in the way of a connection or added, um, maybe created an unhealthy environment here. Tell me more about the devil. Three of Wands, reverse. Frustration, impatience. Someone feels like they may, maybe um, it's not the right time or they missed the boat. I feel like I need to shuffle my deck. Okay, can I get one more for the devil? Hold on. Can I get one more for the devil, please, spirit? Some clarity. The star, Aquarius energy, healing, renewal, hope, faith. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles reverse, and then the Empress reverse. There's an attachment here, and it's almost like someone wants to heal. Heal something, has faith in something, even though it's not doing very well or it became you know not the best situation so it could be it could be that you know there's a connection that is has undergone some sort of disappointment there's something to be regretful of here there's something missing here um there could have been deception something that created an imbalance in a connection um it could have been a toxic connection there could have been issues with like temptation gossip uh, just toxic behavior and it could be that you know Taurus you want to heal this connection or you're heal healing from this because there's still some sort of attachment here so let's see let's look at both of your energies Taurus I have you on this side I have your person on the other but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more Spirit, give me some insight into Taurus and this other person. Spirit, give me some insight into Taurus and their person. Tell me about the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection or experiencing at this time. Tell me about Taurus. Give me some insight into Taurus. Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. I want another one. Can I get another one, please, for Taurus? Whoa, that's way too many. Hang on. Can I get one more for Taurus? I just want another one for you. Get another card, please, for Taurus. Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. So some of you have a choice between a past person and a new person. Others of you, this is the past wanting something new. I, I feel like for a small number of you, you're stuck in the past. You're stuck in a past situation. And it could be because there's still love there. Um, or it could be that there's something I feel that keeps you, I don't know, like it's emotional, like an emotional tie. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies, Spirit? What are their energies? The person that Taurus is dealing with. Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. Yeah, I don't even want to, do I even want to clear cold shoulder interesting that's that five of pentacles so i feel like this person could have done something um that they were maybe they were drawn or tempted or desired something with you and then now they're giving you the cold shoulder or there's a silence ghosting um or you know maybe there was even some infidelity here for some of you this could have been something that was really hot and heavy and then stopped completely take it how it resonates but all those messages seem to fit here so let's see let's break this down let's get some more information about both of you you have the uh, strength card so this is about obviously inner strength but also uh, courage um, control 
um, being able to uh, being able to make a change, a significant change, um, and restabilize, re, re um, bring back structure and stability without using force. That's what the strength card is about. So let's see, why is strength here for Leo? Why is strength here? Oh, I got two. Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, something happened here. There was some sort of conflict that you endured or that you are going through. And I feel like it's caused you to lose interest or just be unsatisfied. Here, Taurus. Top of the deck, I have the world. I love this card so much. So I, I always see it when it comes up. Can I get one more, please, for the strength card? Can I get one more, please? The magician. You want to make something happen, but I feel it's like you want to deal with this situation, whatever conflict this is, but for some reason it requires inner strength or courage. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, you could be having financial difficulties, or you just don't have anything else to give here. Tell me about the Queen. Maybe you're financially dependent rather than independent. Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, we have Judgment reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Communication. What's this Eight of Wands about? Knight of Cups. So there's some sort of communication here regarding, you know, it could be an apology, it could be expressing emotions. Um, but then I have the Judgment card reverse. So it could be that whoever wants to talk to you, it's probably because of a, a bad judgment call they made. Or it could be that... Um, in the midst of all of this, there is something, a message that comes in. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for your person? This could be attraction, uh, being bold, eccentric, life of the party, charismatic energy. Seven of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This is somebody that wants to do something. They're thinking of an option or picking an option out of many. There's the Emperor, Aries energy. This person definitely wants to do something. This is like bold action. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So this person wants to have some sort of beginning here, some sort of new start. Um, there, there's passion, there's creativity, there's um, a feeling of wanting to take control, take charge with the emperor. This could be this uh, mature man energy here because the, the, the emperor is definitely someone older, wiser. So this person definitely wants to have some sort of new start here. And that maybe it's after an ending here with the death card, or maybe this is an ending of a cycle. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. King of Cups reverse. Tell me about death. Queen of Cups reverse. So heartbreak, disappointment. Whatever happened here, um, whether it was your person that initiated it or you that initiated it, I feel like you were both hurt by it. Empress reverse. So we have a emperor and then an empress reverse. Empress reverse is somebody that cannot manifest. Um, typically they could even be, or they're not the best people to work with because things are not working out for them and so that makes them kind of cranky. Um, the empress reverse could also symbolize Investing in the wrong thing, trying to grow the wrong thing, um, being a jilted lover, someone that has been left behind. Can I get one more for the death card, please? So it's interesting. It's like this person wants to start something new here, a new, a new chapter, and I think it's with you. 
Nine of Pentacles reverse, and then have the Two of Cups there at the top of the deck, and the Fool at the bottom of the deck, exactly. So this is about a new start. For some reason, there's an attachment here with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's not free, not independent. I don't know if you're not free or they're not free, um, or this is someone that hasn't been able to let you go, despite the fact that there has been some sort of change or ending or, you know, whatever happened between you. So let's see, what, what's going to happen in the near future here with the Ten of Swords Reverse? This is a card about um, moving on from a difficult ending. Uh, this is about maybe asking for forgiveness and starting again, you know? The cycle has ended and now it's time for something else. Um, so let's clarify. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords Reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah, this was difficult. This was heartbreaking. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. So again, wanting to go after something, um, being passionate, wanting to take some sort of action, make some sort of move after this difficult ending. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Reverse. Wow, the Lovers. Yes, this is definitely about a partnership. A choice here between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you and then I have the page of Pentacles here so there's definitely some sort of offer coming in I have the Knight of Wands here the Knight of Cups um, of course it's going to be up to you I feel like you're the one with the choice uh, Taurus I feel like there's definitely somebody that is going to be approaching you um, and, and it's like they want to discuss something here or it's almost like um, whatever was unfair or unbalanced, um, someone wants to address it. I don't know if it's you or this person, but I feel like this is all happening after some sort of difficult ending. And it's like now they want to start again here. They want to go after something. Maybe you're the one giving them the cold shoulder. Maybe you're the one ready for something new rather than the past. Of course, it's going to be different for all of you. Otherwise, Taurus, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe for more readings. Leave me a comment. Let me know that it resonated or that you claimed this reading. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much again for your support, and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.